In an interview with the news platform Semaphore, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo weighed in on the issues he believes will be central to any Republican running for president in 2024. Pompeo said those ideas include, quote, limited government, an expanded set of freedoms, and protecting the capacity of people to practice their faith. He added, also making sure we don't teach our kids crap in schools. Pompeo went on to say, quote, I get asked who is the most dangerous person in the world? Is it Chairman Kim? Is it Xi Jinping? The most dangerous person in the world is Randy Weingarten, the head of the American Federation wow. of Teachers Union. Yeah. It's not a close call, Jeez. said Pompeo. He continued, if you ask who's the most likely to take this republic down, it would be the teachers unions oh, and the filth on. they're teaching our kids. Just. So that's the on. former secretary of state saying Randy Weingarten oh is God. more dangerous than Xi Jinping, Vladimir We're Putin, Kim Jong-un, the list goes on. Is this another Harvard boy? Like seriously, what? 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 No, he's, 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 he's West Point. He's West Point. West Point. Yeah. First class. Well, West Point, but didn't he go to Harvard Law School or something? Like, look we'll look. Can Someone's you look like, it up real quick? I tell you that some of these Ivy League boys, it's like what filth do they teach them up there? It's just, it's just not. E it's just not even serious. If you got problems with the teachers' union, okay, you went to Harvard Law. I'm being told by Alex. Harvard Law. So, yeah. Another Harvard boy. I just like what do they teach those people in the Ivy in in those Ivy schools? It's really. It's just. It's what an embarrassment! And how many people that graduated from West Point, great Americans, proud Americans, noble Americans, um, who who actually actually believe uh, what General MacArthur said? Last time he went to West Point, talking about duty, honor, and country, flinch, flinch. When Mike Pompeo turns public office into a clown show, he's saying that, that Randy Weingarten is more dangerous than Vladimir Putin? Uh, you know... Sometimes it's just too much. Let's bring in Richard Haas. I'm going to let Richard finish my sentences for me this morning. Richard, seriously, again, I, I, you know, um, yeah, this camera, Richard, right here. Right here. Look at me. I've always got the hang of it. So 15 more years, I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Richard, would you rather talk about the World Cup? We could talk about the no, World no, Cup I wanna, if you I like. Show, I, wanna, you I want to provide some historical context so, to what the Secretary so of State said. So let me just say seriously. I mean, you know, I I um, I I have the I just have reverence for people that were were honored enough to be able to get their education at West Point. And it, though I joke about Harvard boys and Yale boys, I, I you know, I'm a Southern State school guy and loved loved going to Alabama and loved going to Florida, and and a great a great thrill for me every time I go back to those two schools and. Um, and but but I think about people that had the opportunity to get these degrees, uh, where where they're able to get their and, and how they squander it. It's the, the the Bible talks about throwing pearls at swine, and they squander this extraordinary education at Ivy League schools and 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 West Point. This character shaping experience, and. You have him saying that uh, somebody running a teacher's union because he's now he's now chasing a certain voters in a bubble to do well in the Republican primary, um, saying that she's more dangerous than Vladimir Putin, who invaded Ukraine, just indiscriminately kills children and women, mothers, grandmothers, civilians are are Kim. Uh, who, who, who targets Japan with missiles and South Korea threatens the United States with nuclear uh, extinction. I mean, what, what, why, why can't people read the room? Why can't he and others get serious, especially given their background? It's just, it's really, it's just, um, it's sad that they're this way. It's depressing. It's their, their way. I, I've got problems with what, what kids are being taught in some schools. But, but I've always had those problems, and a lot of Americans have. It's a constant battle. It's a constant fight. But equating 
a teacher's union head to Vladimir Putin? It's just crazy. Uh, first of all, comment on that, and then why don't you tell us who the most dangerous people in the world are, other than Randy Weingarten? See, I, I figured out what Mike Pompeo must have been doing the night before he made these comments. The only thing that explains it is that he was watching Sleeper. Because if you were, remember, the Woody Allen character in Sleeper wakes up and says, what happened? And he found out that Albert Shanker, the head of the New York Teachers Union, <laughs> set off a nuclear weapon. So clearly, Mike Pompeo is watching old Woody Allen movies and basically modernizes the reference to Albert Shanker with Randy Weingarten. That's the that only way it. I can explain this. I couldn't get into Harvard. I got rejected from Harvard, so I wouldn't know better, Joe, but that's my, that's my guess. That's that's my guess. In terms of, you know, actually the bigger problem is not where we're teaching in school. If I say it's what we're not teaching in school, it'd be nice if kids actually learn something about civics or learn something about the world, but we can have a conversation about that. Yeah, I got a pretty long list for the most dangerous people. I think you're right, Vladimir Putin. He has 100 times as many nuclear weapons as Kim, so that I start with... Uh, I start with uh, him probably more than anybody else. And here I would worry in this country about the people who are threatening American democracy. And there's a long list of those. Uh, you talk about them every morning on this, on this show. Some of us didn't even bother applying to Harvard, so don't feel too bad. Don't feel too bad, <laughs> I'm Richard. I'm almost over. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking. To